I'm Sean. We're making mac and cheese. Half a stick of butter in the pot. Turn the heat on medium and melt the butter. If any of y'all own Come Fix You a Plate, then you already know about Sean's mac and cheese. It's named after my nephew here. So he's cooking it for us today. Now, Sean, we're only making a half a batch because I'm going to be doing this again in 48 hours. So we're going to make a small pan today. So yeah. if you want to make this for Thanksgiving and you're feeding the crowd and you want a 9 by 13 pan, you're going to want to double everything we're doing here. Now that the butter's melted, we'll add one fourth cup of flour. Okay, perfect. How long are we cooking this for, Sean? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. You're going to cook it for about a minute. You want all your flour to be well combined. You don't want any raw flour. Two cups of milk. Whisk it up till it's thick. While you're whisking that up, we can add the seasonings. About half a teaspoon of paprika, about half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper. We're gonna do a heaping teaspoon of ground mustard. Half a block of cream cheese. Oh. <laughs> all right, once the cream cheese is melted, you put in about half a half, half, a, a, half a pound of Velveeta. Cut it's it up easier. in little blocks. It melts a little bit easier. How many deer have you got this season? Two. Two? Both does. What's your favorite way to cook deer meat? There's a lot of different ways, but I like, I like it all. Like any way you cook it, it's good. Oh, okay. Gr grilled. Grilled is pretty much the best. Velveeta cheese is melted. We'll put in grated sharp cheddar. Yep, it's a half a pound. Half a pound. Now if you can shred this yourself, that is best, but you know we don't get mad at you if you gotta use pre-shredded bagged. Let's show them what the sauce is looking like, Sean. All right, give it a little stir and let everybody see kind of what consistency we're looking at here. There you go, it's looking good. Half a pound of macaroni elbow noodles already cooked and strained into a bowl, a bowl. Scramble one egg in a bowl. Now we pour the egg in the noodles. Stir that all together. Now the sauce. Spray a pan. We'll do it this way. I just hold this. Now we're gonna cover it up. The oven's on 350 degrees and now we will cook the mac and cheese for about 30 to 45 minutes. So we baked it for about 35 minutes and then we put it under the broiler for just a second to brown up that cheese. Emily wants to do a taste test. Is it too hot? <laughs> well, one through 10, what would you rate it? I'd rate it a 10. I'd put it out of 11. A 10. I mean, 11 out, 11 out of 10, that's, that's a good one. That's, that's good, that's good. 100 out of 10. 100 out of 10. Can I fix you all a plate of this? And have a happy Thanksgiving. And have a happy Thanksgiving.